Papillary renal cell carcinoma is the second most common type of RCC, accounting for 10 to 15 percent of renal cell carcinomas. They are usually sporadic but more frequent in males than females with a ratio of around 2 to 1 and the mean age at which they occur is between 50 and 55. The prognosis of papillary renal cell carcinomas is rather better than that of conventional clear cell renal cell carcinomas. Approximately 8% of papillary RCCs are multifocal and it is patients with a family history of papillary RCC that are particularly predisposed to multifocal tumours when they may also occur in both kidneys. Genetic abnormalities seen in papillary RCC include trisomy or tetrasomy of chromosomes 7 and 17. In men there is also usually loss of the Y chromosome. Grossly, papillary RCCs are usually well circumscribed. They may have a fibrous pseudocapsule. The cut surface is usually pale brown. And because of the papillary nature of the tumour, the cut surface may have a rather shaggy appearance. In addition, Hemorrhage and necrosis is common. Here is a typical papillary renal cell carcinoma. You can see that it has a fibrous pseudocapsule. Here is another papillary RCC and this tumour shows some necrosis and hemorrhage. The tumour is pale brown, typical of papillary RCCs, and it also has a rather shaggy cut surface. Histologically, in 90% of cases, the tumour has a papillary or tubulopapillary architecture. The papillae are covered by a single layer of cells, and there is a fibrovascular core that is sometimes fibrosed. And another feature seen in papillary RCCs are collections of foamy macrophages in the cores and, as with other papillary tumours, somoma bodies may be present. This papillary RCC shows a tubulopapillary architecture with the presence of both tubules and papillae and, in addition, there are collections of foamy macrophages so typical of papillary RCCs. Papillary renal cell carcinomas can be subdivided usually into one of two types. The type 1 is more frequent than type 2. The cells are smaller with scanty pale cytoplasm. The nuclei are small with either small or absent nucleoli. The type 2 papillary RCC has larger cells with abundant pink staining cytoplasm. The nuclei are large and pseudostratified typically with prominent nucleoli. Type 2 papillary RCCs tend to be more aggressive and larger than type 1s. Papillary RCCs tend to show positivity with PAX8, A1, A3, CK7, race maze and vimentin and when reporting papillary RCCs nuclear grading is recommended as with conventional clear cell renal cell carcinomas. This is a low power view of a type 1 papillary RCC. You can see that the nuclei are small and pretty regular and the cytoplasm is scanty. And on higher power, the nucleoli can be seen to be either small or inconspicuous. This is a type 2 papillary RCC. The nuclei are larger than the type 1. They are also pseudostratified in areas and the cytoplasm is more abundant and pink staining. 